Okay, in this episode we'll be, we, I will be uh, building the transmission assembly and the, uh, that assembly is this part just here. So we have the motor with about an inch and a half pulley driving an 8 inch pulley which in turn drives a shaft with the 4 step pulley on it. The, um, the motor floats or is connected to this right, uh, top rail here. The, uh, the, the legs just simply sit on the table and, uh, and then there's a, an interaction between that drive, where are we? That, that sort of drive pulley, the four stage pulleys. There's another four stage pulley over here. Um, these two lever arrangements uh, disengage, disengage the tension of the belts. So it's this mechanism that the motor and the pulleys are all sitting in, sitting in that uh, makes up the transmission. And then the final drive of the transmission is a two inch and a six inch pulley which interchange for uh, currently low range, swapping around high range. So that's what I'm up to. I'm marking on the inside of the angle um, to find the centre position for the centre position of that flange on the inside, which is smaller than the centre position of the flange on the outside due to the thickness of the material. Many times I've done them on the outside, drilled them, whatever I needed to do, and then find the head of the bolt or the nut won't fit because it's uh, it's off one side. Uh, it's brought over by three millimetres or one eighth. That's why I'm working from the inside. It's a bit more awkward, but uh, less chance of not putting it in the centre of the flange. So I've already got these ones pre-punched. Again, <coughs> again, I'm talking to no one. You weren't listening. You weren't turned on. No, that's all right. Once I drill the hole, then I can scribe a line to uh, cut and create two adjustable uh, slots. Alright, let's uh, study this a bit. At the, pre at the present moment I've uh, cut out the pillow block and the uh, pillow block bracket and the mounting bracket. This is hardware for um, for this this handle here that mounts that assembly there that's, uh, that mounts to the um, spindle head of the milling machine. So, looking at this, at this bracket, it's got here spindle head shank, so that square there is the, uh, the spindle head. The pillow block brackets are these two at the top, those two. The mounting brackets are these two that mount the um, transmission assembly to the um, spindle head. So, like I said, I've uh, I've done these set of brackets. Now I'm moving on to the arms, the uh, four parallel arms, uh, two diagonal links, 
and uh, two release lever. So what we're doing here is again is this assembly here. Not that not that handle but this handle here and the parallel arms that go with it. And that's that's it there. So this is position in this position it's released and in this position it's tightened and uh, locked. Uh, so this this bar here is uh, where the pillow blocks uh, mount for the one half of the one set of the four stage pulleys and this this one here is where it's mounted to the uh, spindle head uh, shank. So it's just fiddly mucking around trying to work out the, uh, how the, all the bits and pieces go together Crit critiquing it all and going that's not going to work, oh yes it is oh that's, that's not the right size, yes it is so <laughs> yeah just carefully reading it over a number of times it works out so I've got the arms I've got the arms cut I've just got to uh, mark them out and um, center punch them. I'm looking through looking through the magnifiers, that didn't work. Shouldn't try that trick. Okay, the other four are the same, so um, I will just um, do those use that use that first one as a template and just one at a time. Drill it. Put a with a three uh, three mil, then put a three mil drill in there to hold it. Go to the other side, drill the other three mil hole. I always like to put a um, something in the hole that's the right size to hold that first set together because you never know things may move by the time you come over to the second side. So yeah, drill it one eighth or three mil or whatever you're using. Drill it one eighth. Leave the drill in the in the chuck. Grab another. Uh, one eighth or three mil. Put that in the hole. That'll hold. That'll hold it. You can do whatever you want then. You don't have to drill it and, and tap it and do all that stuff. Just a just a three mil shank in there to hold, and then drill. Drill the second one. So that's what I'm going to go and do now. Catch you later. Well, I have the um, I have the parts parts cut and um, drilled. Only um, three mil at the moment. I'll take them out to size when necessary. Uh, this is the, uh, still the still on the first stage um, or the last stage, depending on which way you look at it. But the uh, first first part of the book as we go into the, the transmission section. <coughs> so I now have to start assembling some of these parts. Uh, Gingery calls for uh, 3 sixteenths, um, uh, the old style cold uh, rivet. Um, I think I'll keep, keep in theme with that if possible. So I've got some, some nails here, these, these are pretty old. So I get a head on a head on one end, and they're the old um, three and a half inch nails. So what I want to do is make this. Can you see that? Yeah. 
make the head um, a little bit bigger and then cut to length. I'm marking out here the, uh, the second stage release cranks. curves they don't cut straight and it's hard to cut a straight line with them because they want to walk all over the place they make a racket you get a little, a little small window that you can see where the blades jigsaws just working on putting a um, slight amount of draft on this pattern <laughs>
okay, they've both got enough craft on them now. And if I did it right, they're opposing pairs. Yep. I'm amazed. They usually get the opposites wrong. Alright. That'll do for now. Well, here I have the, um, the pattern for the two, one of two pillow box that's, uh, that's needed for the transmission. Um, very simple pattern. Uh, the only thing is it requires that the riser or a, or a riser of an inch and a quarter or 32 mil be mounted here, centrally located to this boss, inch and one eighth up from the base, um, and to achieve that the, um, the riser needs a plug, plug in the end of it with a centering pin and then that will locate in the correct position for when moulding. So I've got a bit of uh, tree branch here which I'll, uh, I'll turn down to 32mm um, and probably about 20 or 30 mil long so I can shove it up that pipe. Here we go. I hope I'll get enough out of this pipe. So we're going to get it, get it out of this uh, piece of wood. send out the recovery team. Bring it back later. Well it was a good thing I um, I already had a, a good section that I was turned off on the uh, part before it uh, crashed so I've spun it around and recentered the uh, piece and we're um, back in business and let's try not to crash it this time. I don't want to take too much in one go with a very poor grip. Try it again. Thirty one point eight.
31. Um, what was it? 29, was it? All right, let's have a look. Very nice fit. Uh, let's hope that's strong enough to face off. And yes, I know this uh, is a bad work practice. Holding up the uh, second stage release clamps. Um, I'll be doing a pull a little bit later. And, uh, I'll be doing the second stage release clamps and also the uh, pillow box. Scratching up the layer of sand so that the, uh, the next layer integrates with that lower layer. Otherwise, sometimes um, I, ha I have had it once, or well, maybe twice, where uh, I haven't done that, and the um, um, you can see the two layers are actually. Well, actually they did separate when I was pulling the cape and drag apart.
They shifted. They both shifted. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I've got to just find the where to drill some holes. I'll bring you back. Okay, we're back to recording. So I've drilled the holes. I just need to uh, lift, uh, lift the patterns out. And that came out beautiful.
Well, there we go. I finished um, pouring these. Unfortunately, I thought you were turned on, and uh, well, I was talking to no one apparently. So, uh, hopefully, we've got a um, couple of good uh, castings out of it. This one here is the uh, the two. This one is the two uh, pillow box, and. This one is the two release crank levers. Uh, my apologies for not recording what happened prior, but hey, have a bad habit of forgetting to turn you on. And take that the right way. Alright, let's see what we have. Well, they're the two, where are we? There we go. They're the two um, release crank levers. Came out nice and crisp. Finishes reasonable. Quite good. Very happy with that. So we have a uh, reasonable quality. My patterns, I will admit, were not 100%. A little bit rough, but um, these will machine up nicely, I think. Yes, they will machine up nicely, and the uh, I need these sprues to create the journal. The journal for the um, those release cranks to pivot on. So this is this is the uh, pillow block bearing for the uh, pulley shaft, and it also doubles as the pivot point for the release crank. So, yeah, good, good results. I'm happy with those. All I've got to do now is clean them up so I can use them. That is, get the excess metal off. All right, not left for the moment.